307 members of the Graduate School of Education, Class of 2023. Next in the procession are members of the faculty and administration of the Graduate School of Education and members of the Fordham University Administration.
of the Graduate School of Education, Dr. Jose Luis Alvarado, and Fordham University President, Tanya Tetlow. for the 2023 Graduate School of Education Diploma Ceremony. Good afternoon, graduates, family, friends, faculty, and staff of the Graduate School of Education. And welcome to the graduation of the class of 2023. My name is Dr. Diane Rodriguez, Associate Dean of Academic Affairs at the Graduate School of Education. As we start our ceremony, please turn off or silence all cell phones and other electronic devices. Please stand for the invocation by Father Kevin Spinali. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for guiding our graduates to this moment, which looks forward to their work as expert teachers, counselors, advisors, and school leaders. We thank you for the impelling desire that moves all of us to toil intensely that others might learn, grow in justice, and find healing. Such desire to serve others to contribute to the common good, to will the good for those we serve, is a manifestation of your love incarnate in us. Gracious God, strengthen the resilience and hope of the graduates that we celebrate today. Grant them consolation and joy in their work. We ask all this through the resurrected Jesus who shares fully in our human life that we might know our human dignity. Amen. Congratulations, graduates. At this time, I'm pleased to introduce Dr. Jose Luis Alvarado, the Dean of the Graduate School of Education, who will address the class of 2023. Thank you, Dr. Rodriguez. Graduates, this is your day. Joining you here today and also viewing from afar are those who have helped you reach this day. Before we proceed, graduates, please stand, turn around, face your loved ones, which are parents, grandparents, siblings, spouses, partners, friends, tios, tias, cousins. You could not have done this without them. Please give them your love. Thank you, graduates. You may be seated. Let us also take this moment to honor any veterans among our graduates and guests. Would you please stand and let us show you our appreciation for your service? 
Veterans? Thank you so much. You may be seated. <clears throat> I offer my heartfelt congratulations to all of our professional masters and doctoral students who earned degrees in August 22, January 23, May 23, and August 23. We are extremely proud of all that you've accomplished, and we're honored to count you among our distinguished graduates. During your time at Fordham, you worked extremely hard to overcome many obstacles to reach this exceptional academic achievement. You persevered, navigated the challenges of COVID. You also navigated the post-pandemic world. I commend you for your flexibility, perseverance, and grit. The path you chose was a tough one, not taken by many, but you are among them. You, the skills you develop, the res resourcefulness, tenacity, resilience, and patience will serve you well in your professional careers. There are some in society who claim that a college education is not necessary. It's passe. That earning a college degree is not that important. Interestingly, those who make such claims, they're college graduates themselves. Their children, they're college grads. They employ only college graduates. So that claim truly rings hollow, particularly for those of us whose lives have been transformed because of education. For those of us whose lives, again, we've been transformed. At Fordham Education, you as a Fordham educated professional, you've been equipped with the tools to promote a just society, and to advance education on social equity. With your passion and your love for learning and your commitment for serving others, you will reach even greater accomplishments as educational, counseling, psychological practitioners, and scholars committed to serving a diverse population. On behalf of Fordham's Graduate School of Education, I wish you a hearty congratulations on your academic accomplishments and look forward to learning more about the many ways that you will set the world on fire. Congratulations. I was forgetting the most important part. It's my pleasure and my distinct honor to welcome Fordham's president, Tanya Tatlow, for her remarks. Graduates, teachers, administrators, counselors, school psychologists, and all the intersections of all of these fields, we are so very proud of you. You are an amazing group, often known for your humility, but I'm asking you to abandon that today and be very, very proud of yourselves. I have a small story to tell you that may help explain why the Graduate School of Education and all of you are so very important to Fordham. It starts 500 years ago when a man named Ignatius from a small town of Loyola in Spain found himself entirely lost in life. He had decided to reject his frivolous youth. He'd been a soldier, mostly interested in gambling and dueling and the impact of his fancy uniforms on the ladies. But something changed dramatically and broke through his vanity. When we talk about cannonball moments at Jesuit universities, it's because Ignatius was literally hit by a cannonball during a battle, one that broke his leg and shattered his ideas of the world. He spent many months in bed while his leg healed. He ended up reading the lives of the saints, stories of heroism he could appreciate, but heroism with a purpose. But even after he healed, he was adrift. He knew what didn't matter to him, but he was still in search of what did. He took off wandering, an unwashed pilgrim, shaking off his own ego for years. By the age of 33, he decided to go back to school. This was a daunting prospect, as many of you graduates know from personal experience. 
In his case, he would need serious remedial education even to qualify. After that, he would make it to the University of Paris for college and graduate school, and by the time he was finished all of it, he was 43. He also made some really good friends, men like Peter Favor and Francis Xavier. Together, the 10 of them were determined to serve as priests, but to matter in a new way. They would create their own religious order, the Jesuits. This all sounded good. They would have ambition for God, but what exactly to do? At first, they wanted to be missionaries running around the world, unfettered by bureaucracy, still full of adventurous swagger. But they made a different decision to become teachers, to create schools. You know, you knew I was coming back to you, right? Because to teach, they realized, becomes the ultimate force multiplier. First, you can do more than just pass on knowledge. If you do it well, you plant the seeds of lifelong learning, of endless curiosity. You help students become determined to use the tools you give them to matter to the world. You teach not just minds, but hearts and spirits. I realize it's trendy now to talk about educating the whole student. I just need you to know to smile every time you hear that because the Jesuits have been doing that for five centuries. Second, teaching means creating opportunity, the chance to invest in the talent that would be squandered by the world. The Jesuits would create the kind of schools so brilliant that the children of the elite would flock there, but they would make them available to many more. By the 1700s, they had 700 colleges and universities on five continents. They created these schools with a level of courage and ingenuity that we marvel at. It was the loaves and fishes approach to building schools. And I see the school administrators among you smiling at that. They were brilliant at that work of bridging the gap between what students deserved and what they could afford to pay, of finding creative solutions, donors, debts, whatever it took to make it work. And so when Archbishop Hughes created Fordham University in 1841 for the millions of starving and determined Irish immigrants flooding into the city and those who would follow them, he wanted the Jesuits to run this place, to create opportunity and academic excellence. In 1916, Fordham built a force multiplier within the force multiplier by founding the School of Education. Think about the impact that that has. GSE has taught generations of teachers whom themselves have collectively taught millions of students. For those of you graduating in counseling and psychology related programs, this story includes you too, because the unlikely way that the Jesuits' success came about was from the fundamental insights Ignatius had as a leader. He understood centuries before Freud and modern psychology that the secret to leadership is radical self-awareness. He believed in growth rooted in the love of God, not in self-flagellation or shame. He leaned into gratitude. Graduates, you embody Jesuit mission. And you're gonna hear this a lot today, but we can't help ourselves. These last few years, you have been heroes. We all learned through the pandemic that you, teachers, administrators, counselors, psychologists, are on the front lines and always have been. Those of you who work in mental health helped us navigating, navigate head-spinning trauma as we veered from panic to boredom to grief and back again. You continue to help humanity navigate an unimaginable rate of change. Teachers and administrators, the world got a terrible kick in the shins reminder of just how much we need you. That first period when we all attempted to teach our own children at home and we gained enormous humility about how hard it is. And then we watched you take on literal physical risk to educate our children to stem a more, even more terrible loss to their opportunities and their growth. For me, during every parent-teacher conference I had with my daughter's school, I kept bursting into tears of gratitude for them. We were reminded that education is the engine of opportunity and meritocracy in this country because COVID wiped out decades of progress in narrowing those gaps. We were reminded that education is fundamental to democracy as our losses in civics and history erode the very faith in institutions that holds up democracy. 
And if we ever doubted your importance to the progress of the world, we now see education under attack, books banned, history whitewashed, and children who you are now forbidden to support. This is how much power you have to matter. There are other graduates I will speak to this week who I'm urged to find a purpose in their lives of what their mission and vocation will be. You have already done that. You embody our Jesuit values. And when you are having a hard day, I hope you'll do what I do, which is to remember Ignatius at his little desk in Rome, writing thousands of letters on annoying bureaucratic subjects, telling the priests who asked him for more resources that they would have to just figure it out on their own like they were trained, I, I know that he found God's wisdom in the small moments, in the constrained choices, and he made all the difference to the world. Look around you and see what Ignatius built. Graduates, every day of your chosen career, you will achieve more than most people ever dream of. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, President Tetlow. We're now ready for Dean Alvarado to present scrolls to our graduates. We will begin with the master's degree and professional diploma graduates. We will present them by division, starting with graduates from the Division of Curriculum and Teaching. Dr. Aida Lator, Navarez Latorre, Chairperson of the Curriculum and Teaching Division, will present the master's degree and professional diploma degree graduates of the divisions to the dean. Congratulations, everyone. Muchas felicidades a todos. Denise Altagracia de los Santos Veloz. Danira Giselle Cristina Medina Burgos. Mayra Adelina Mercedes Jimenez. Xiao Yili. Wachin Zhang. Adiyenka Samuel. Chloe. Chaffin. Ana Isadora Cutler Witty. Yo Tong Chen. Hufei Yule. Margaret Ann Hanley. Isabel Cooper Perales. John Donald Galvin Chanley. Susan Butler Smith. Jacqueline Bauer. Brittany Girafa. Richard Gutierrez. Victoria N. Depew. K. 
Kelly Lorraine Mertz. Chantal Cruz Nunez. Taylor Lynn Brennan. Victoria Caroline Udenfriend. Andrea Medina. Elizabeth K. Camby. Hannah V. Hoffman. Haley A. Letera. Hannah K. Murphy. Sofia Raquel Schultz. Carolyn Tess Hare. Mary Kay Terry. Carlos A. Cruz. Barbara M. Lalama. Amy K. Johnson Smith. Sherry Ann Marie Harris. Anna J. Spencer. Michelle E. Getzlasevich. Jerlisa E. Ware. Artina V. Ellsworth. <laughs> Evelyn E. Bullock. <laughs> Lorianne Gail Andrews. Omar Núñez Amadís. Brenda Shailín Castillo Carmona. Simone Nelson. Boricua. Jacqueline Rosa. <laughs> Pamela Sanchez. Nora Ariasa. Angelica A. Lopez. <laughs> Margaret G. Fushek. <laughs> Ar 
Abigail Castro Gabriel. Marco Francesco Pompa. Shannon Y. Urabe. Francesca F. Russo. Cassidy King. Alexandra Carter. Riley Joan Ramaj. Olivia R. Maynard. Earl J. Latson Jr. <laughs> They're testing me. <laughs> Buster Jacob Cohen. <laughs> David T. Frizzalone. Roy Boon. <laughs> Shelby Gabriela Marrero. <laughs> Daniel I. DeLonso. Catherine E. Errath. <laughs> Alexandra M. Klapak. <laughs> Margaret R. Richards. <laughs> Julia L. A. Carnavale. Christina Wood. <laughs> Jessica Rodriguez. <laughs> Nisad Tasnim. Margaret Grace Costiquen. <laughs> Alexa M. Gross. <laughs> Jacqueline Craze McGowan. Dylan Grace Lipman. <laughs> Michael O. Benton. <laughs> Patsy Ortiz Sands. Sing Yi Wang. <laughs> Natalie Marie Petit. <laughs> Simone Imogene Craft Colini.
Marsha J. Joseph. Tu Yi T. N. Vo. Rosanio Calcano. Sarina Jeanette Silomini Morales. Carmen Rose Morello. Neriet V. Acosta. <laughs> Angel. Janicea Jean Byron. Giselle Lamoya Fisher. Michelle Frantino. Alexis Carter. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Nevarez La Torres. Dr. Terry Orr, Chairperson of the Educational Leadership Administration and Policy Division, will present the Master's Degree and Professional Diploma graduates of the divisions to the Dean. Francesca Rodriguez. Amanda Quatlander. Suzanne Tataj. Sikinka Grabiel Bess. Ann Hennessy. Joseph Dumovic. Angela Centopolo. <laughs> Renee Rollins Bodie. Matthew Stark. Thank you, Dr. Orr. Dr. Merler Keitel, Chairperson of the Psychological and Educational Service Division, will present the Master's Degree and Professional Diploma Degree graduates of the division to the Dean. Maria F. Semina. Congratulations. Taylor P. Ash. Nina Diane Bergold. Simran Bott. Leah M. Bombach. <laughs> Lily Ann Brody. <laughs> J. 
Junyi Chen. <laughs> Candice Comisi. <laughs> Francesca Cristiano. Melissa Victoria Eklund. Kendall French Kazin. Harry Garcia. Sophia Natalia Gonzalez. <laughs> Shannon R. Hames. <laughs> Carlyle Taisha Henry. David A. Kale. <laughs> Olivia Catherine Lombardo. <laughs> she E. Lowe. Christian Lutzai. Congratulations. Francesca Marilyn McKernan. <laughs> Yun May. <laughs> Elise Victoria Pedra. Jessica Nicole Turgovnik. <laughs> Daniel Carmelo Profaci. <laughs> Monica Parham. Lonisha L. Sessoms. <laughs> Fanny Turby Baez. <laughs> Philip Edward Ryan. Anna Rodbell. <laughs> Emily Lauren Schumann. <laughs> Jacqueline Vincent. Sarai Cecilia Ramirez. Rachel A. Friedman. Anne Margaret McGinley. Amanda S. Greenberg. <laughs> Stephanie <Mila> Mihalatos. <laughs> Bibi 
Shaniza Sohab. <laughs> Barry Shoup. Yoshinori Yagami. Hi, how are you? Shi Hao Young. Hi, how are you? Yi Song Zhang. Uwei Zhao. I love you. Kissa Abadi. <laughs> Amy Almonte. Elizabeth Jane Ansel. Divya Bagnari. Victoria Angela Checo. Rebecca Haynes Oliver. <laughs> Annabelle Enoa. <laughs> Kirsten M. McCormick. Samantha McCusker. <laughs> Linda Perleshi. <laughs> Kenya Valerio Arias. Suwani Singh Pracha. <laughs> Caitlin A. Steedle. <laughs> Megan Eileen Sullivan. Berlin Nicole Weisner. <laughs> what else but not least? Margaret Yermiyayeva. Thank you, Dr. Keitel. Please join me in congratulating our master's degree and professional diploma graduates. I will now present the doctoral graduates to the dean and the graduate mentor for hooting. <laughs> Approaching the stage are the doctoral graduates from the Contemporary Learning and Interdisciplinary Research Doctoral Program, the Division of Psychological and Educational Services, and Division of Educational Leadership Administration and Policy.
Ki Jun Ru. Dr. Natalie Madison Drone. <laughs> Dr. Kelly A. Sierra. Dr. Golden Van Owen. <laughs> Dr. Renat Levy Cohen. Dr. Madina Ahmed. <laughs> Dr. Maria Cristina Soto. <laughs> Dr. Sara May Olivar. Dr. Jean Marie Hurley. <laughs> Dr. Elizabeth Ann Ostler. Dr. Lorraine Towns. <laughs> Dr. Brett Satron. Dr. Ralph Hoglar. <laughs> Dr. Cynthia Ebel Wizu. Dr. Kofi Osei Wuzu. <laughs> Dr. Earl Y. Thorpe. Dr. Susan Adelaide McGowan. <laughs> Dr. 
Dr. Megan Mayer. Dr. Cicely Warren. Dr. Karen, Catherine Burke Adelsberger. <laughs> Dr. Maribel Hula. Dr. Donald Robert Shells. Dr. Yi Hong. Dr. Tamar Yolanda Walker. Dr. Pamela Russell. <laughs> Dr. Michelle Renee Williams. Dr. Adam N. A. Stevens. Dr. Sandra Montañez Diodonet. Dr. Amy E. Andino. Dr. Shannon Terrell Smith. Dr. Jennifer Alexander Adi. <laughs> Dr. Dion O. Williams. Dr. Melitina Hernandez. <laughs> Dr. Keisha Lamey Green Martinez. Dr. Natasha B. Bracey. <laughs> Dr. Ivelis Nazaret Pilarte. Dr. Gail Joyner. <laughs> Dr. Maria Santiago. <laughs> Dr.
Dr. Christopher Kyog. Dr. Ainsley at C. Rudolph. Dr. Rachel Viegas. Dr. Salvatore Lima. Dr. Lisette Ruiz Giovannasi. Dr. Melissa Gwen Nadal. Dr. Gretchen Marie Weiss. Dr. Amy L. Deal. Dr. Nicole Fabian Engelke. Dr. Grace Elizabeth White. <laughs> Dr. Andreen Lisent Wilson. Dr. Bernard B. Daras, Jr. <laughs> Dr. Belkis Y. Martinez. <laughs> Dr. Cindy Molina. Dr. Daphne Catherine Spiropoulos. Dr. Amy Cyper. Dr. Xinyi Wang. Dr. Kathy Wong. <laughs> Dr. Elizabeth Eder Moru. Dr. Catherine Claire Lantier. Dr. Alexandra Fetzer.
Dr. Laura Belersi. Dr. Jolene Trim. Dr. Quandrina Nori. Dr. Jacqueline Huang. Dr. Lauren Ross. Dr. Priscilla Joan. Please join me in congratulating all of our doctoral degree graduates. This concludes our Graduate School of Education Diploma Ceremony. We will soon begin the academic recessional. First, on behalf of the administration, faculty, staff, and alumni of the Graduate School of Education, I again congratulate the class of 2023. I wish our graduates many inspired and productive academic and scholarly engagement as well as rewards and happiness, both personally and professional. Graduates, please remain seated and follow the directions of the usher, the class of 2023.